Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. I believe that last time we had a wedding cancel because our son got himself into a war. Now, the problem with that is that we currently have our son in a situation where we cannot marry him off because the interaction is no longer valid to send. Now, I think this is because he is currently traveling and I don't believe we can send it. It might even be because he's currently traveling in a grand wedding travel event, in which case that would be make a lot of sense that you couldn't send a wedding invite then, but then he's not going to end at the place where the wedding is going to happen. He's going to end down here. Then I think we'll be able to marry him off. It's all very weird, and I'm not entirely sure what's happened, but we're going to ignore it completely. Uh, in terms of other things, it has been a few days since I last played, so let's just do a little look around, figure out where we're at. Anything that we need to immediately deal with? No, but we'll do our check that we should do every single time we remember it. Let's do a quick check. So, is there a force vote in there? I didn't see a force vote in there. Uh, I didn't see one. There could have been one, but that's fine. Nothing obvious. Um, we'll lose land if somebody inherits the kingdom of Ikea. Now, I believe that we have a somebody with a claim on that, don't we? One of these people has a claim on that. Or was it Bulgaria? Ah, no. You have a claim on that. In fact, you have a claim on that and Thessalano Thessalonica. Which uh, means that actually we'd be able to take the whole lot. Which would be fantastic. Okay. That's pretty good. I, I, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so we're going to press your claim. Did we have somebody else with a claim? And that was what I was saying. Ah, uh, we do have somebody else with a claim who's my courtier. But we don't need his claim because we have a much better claim. I actually think that your claim is much better because you're a member of my dynasty. Yeah, okay. You're currently underneath uh, us, but where, where exactly are you? Oh, you hold that, that single holding there. Oh, yeah, okay, that works for me then. Yeah, this, this is perfect, that works. And you're the son of the current ruler. Okay, cool. Uh, so we want to do that. When is the truce? Uh, our truce with them is two years. So two years, uh, one year in January. So about a year and a half. Okay. Bulgaria, I know we've looked at you before as well. I just want to see what we've got going on here. Anyone got a claim on Bulgaria? That would be a nice thing to see. I mean, we could do this the other way, which is that you look at people who have claims on it and then see what you're doing, but... Yeah, let's do this first. Okay, so you, my uh, cousin, who is betrothed to my son, has a claim on Bulgaria. Interesting. Interesting. Also a claim on the kingdom of Ukanusko, Bulgaria. Uh, which I'm not entirely sure what the difference is here, but that's fine. Or we could unify the house. Now, unifying the house, I just realized, has another benefit. If this person, ah, uh, yeah, this person is the sibling of Arabia, ah, uh, no. So if they were a child of Bulgaria, that would be useful. I think that's what happened here with these guys. Did we not declare a war for um, all of our houses' lands underneath their land? Which then meant that we got this guy, because he's a member of our house. He is now our vassal, and therefore we can press his claim. He could, in theory, do the same thing with Bulgaria, except we don't have somebody who has a claim. Let me just confirm that, actually. You don't have a claim? No, no. That's fine. Okay, so two years on that. What, what's our truce with Bulgaria, anyway? Uh, are we allied? We're allied to Bulgaria. Oh, in which case we'll leave them alone. Okay, cool. Uh, you're a duchy. You want to be my vassal? Maybe. Let's send a gift. I mean, he doesn't want to be my vassal right now. If I got a little closer, he would be minus, like, 26. Okay. Okay. Something to think about. Maybe this is a good opportunity to learn his language. Let's do that. And we can learn two languages at once, right? So maybe I just pick another language that makes sense to learn. Uh, have we got any over here that we don't know? Like, what, what land are we likely going to integrate? Like, this one? Yeah, we could integrate this land. I want to learn your language at the same time. 
It says it will abandon the scheme. I thought we were able to do two languages due to something in here. Am I going crazy? Potentially. Was it something I looked at and then never took? Also potentially. Uh, I won't spend too long looking at it. I'm just seeing what we have in here. Ah, adaptive traditions. I never took it. Oh, all right then. Well, that would do it. Um, I thought we had a dynasty thing, but I think I also didn't take that. And I'm starting to suspect I didn't take that because I thought I'd taken the other one. Yeah, I think that seems very, very likely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, that's fine. We'll learn one language right now, which might be useful. Uh, anything else that we need to do before we unpause? I guess not. I'm trying to think what, like, so it's two years to the next thing happens. Do we have a legend that we're currently working on? No, we could get a Keeper of the oh, Ukunusko Holy Site. I'm just going to choose you as an example, but not do it. So we currently have a Holy War we could declare. So if we've got two years till we can get this, it might make sense to... It, yeah, it probably makes sense to start this on a five-year timer, declare a war to get the uh, king, kingdom level holy war. Then, um, yeah, so we want a legend, kingdom level holy war. When that's finished, we should be just about time to attack these guys. And then that will allow us to get that land. Yeah, and then we'll be able to marry him off when the war is done as well because he'll be back in uh, his capital. That makes sense to me. Okay. So, uh, is there anything else we need to do? Uh, yes, I want to have a look in here. So, Ashari populists are... Actually, let's wait a month. Let's wait a month, because I want to see how strong these factions are. Just to decide where to attack, because I don't want to take more land from places that have populists. Although, I will convert a bunch of the land when we finish the legend. You know what? Either way, I'm going to do legend. That makes sense. Uh, yes. Let's do that. Wonderful. We started finishing things as well. Awesome. So, fine. Crusade for Jerusalem? My plans have changed somewhat. <laughs> My plans have changed. Okay. 14 months, there's a Crusade for Jerusalem. What I will say is we have a lot more than they have, but that's because nobody has declared for either side yet. Okay. Do I declare a Great Holy War at some point and... Just try and end it before the crusade. Uh, I mean, I could. Or a, a kingdom level holy war and end it before the crusade. Um, I was thinking how long it would be to take this land. I want to house a land. How long do you reckon it would take us to get that? How long is this? 14 months. So it's actually a year we've got till that happens. I don't think we're ending the war in a year. Hmm. Okay. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter because what the legend does is it gives us the ability to refill our great a kingdom, great holy wars via decision. The fact that we have we would have that while declaring a war doesn't matter. Yeah. It has also been suggested that there is an optimization we can do, by the way, to our men at arms. What we could do in theory is because we've got these watchtowers, right? What we could do is we could revoke all of the watchtowers, giving us size of men-at-arms regiments. Then we go in here, we bo we boost up the size of our men-at-arms. Then we give the holding away again. That then means that all of our men-at-arms will be one larger. It's an idea. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. I might do it once. We'll see. But, um, yeah, that was a suggestion made. I was just thinking because we're going to get another one of those uh, soon. Okay. Another watchtower soon, probably. Right. And then every time we get a natural boost to our men at arms, we should do the same thing because then you get an extra plus one and so on and so forth. Oh, so, okay. Diplomacy perk. Well, I might as well take adaptive traditions. I already thought I had it. Oh no, I might as well take matriarch because it's the end of the line. Yeah, let's take matriarch. And then we, now we finish that line. Uh, We have the top level education, yeah? Yeah. Uh, what do we need in here? So adaptive traditions is probably fine. I don't need defensive negotiations at all. Ducal conquest and force vassalage are unnecessary. 
flexible truces? Uh, maybe. I do think the embassies is pretty useful, but we don't really want that many alliances. I guess we could get internal alliances and that would help. I don't fabricate claims, so this would be completely pointless. I guess the buy artifact claim is kind of interesting, but I don't think we need it. And then diplomat. I don't think we need it either. Increases initial legitimacy. Wait, legitimacy when you take over? Is that not weird? Because surely, like, the AI is not going to get down to diplomat. I don't know. Maybe they do. Uh, that's fine. It's just weird it's the way it says initial. Uh, so I guess I want adaptive traditions and then pivot. Maybe adaptive traditions, defensive negotiations, and embassy. Hmm. Okay, so it might be time to think about what to do next. I mean, the obvious answer for us is stewardship. It just makes a lot of sense, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that's fine. Two bits of land that we'll lose when uh, vassals inherit. Doesn't really matter. How's it looking now? The relative military strength is going up quite a lot. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire has won against Germany. Uh, there is no more Germany. Okay. Uh, we can get recent memory for five years, increasing legend spread chance. Sure, why not? Talk of that sort of thing. Yes, you are in search for legends. That's fine. Hold court? Sure, I'll hold court. What have we got here? Merging of cultural identities. No, I'm not going to decrease our cultural identity stuff. You want some lands? Uh... I can give you some money. Yeah, here, have some money. The enemy within. So we can try and convert places to be late, late Norse. Hmm. I think we're going to say it's a land of many people, which will get us a little bit of court grandeur. Sure. That's fine. None of those were particularly good. I mean, I think actually if you want to be optimal now, you just never do hold court, but it kind of seems a little bit boring. Radical action, of course. I should have known. Uh, so they'll do something there. Disease still isn't near us. That's fine. Okay, hooks are expiring. That's okay. A new cadet branch appears. And the uh, Great Holy War starts in 12 months. Okay. Ah, the uh, radical action was a success. Do we have people in my prison? No. Okay. Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to pause. It's fine. Just keep going. Chill. Uh, where are you now? Very curiosity. You're a little bit closer on your journey. I guess I'll just leave it on this map mode. It's kind of the most uh, relevant one right now while we wait for this. Ten months. So we kind of want to raise troops in, like, September. Okay, repair. Okay, iridescent stone. We will repair that, too. He is still not quite home yet. Nine months. Oh, task aborted. Uh, what was that task? Invert faith. Ah, okay. So I now need you to convert somewhere else. Why don't you convert some orthodox land? Because we're going to get more orthodox land in not that in the not too distant future. We're also looking at this eight months away from getting another very high development one into our culture, which will be great. Okay, keep going. And yeah, nothing we need to worry about. Child of my dynasty, not that impressive. That's okay. You're the next child who's coming of age in about five days. Okay. Skulls has come of age. She is a brilliant strategist and an aggressive attacker. Very good um, martial education. Make you a shield maiden as well on top of that. That's a fantastic character if you don't look at the intrigue column. Um, but okay. Let's find you somebody to uh, marry. You're looking for somebody who is not a ruler, who has inheritable traits, and from that point on, I guess we're kind of looking for genius. So, genius. So you could marry another Oster. 
You got anyone who's better? Maybe not directly related to you? Another Oster. Okay. And uh, Sahara. That's another not too distant relative. Okay. There are a lot of relatives. I, I have noticed that here. Okay. Let's sort by age. Go down to roughly the right age and just see if we've got anybody who's relevant in the age ranges we're looking at here. So you are pretty, so we could go with this person. He is an Oster, but he's not really doing anything. He's got a claim on Sindh and Yemen. I guess that could be fine. There's a 4% chance of there being inbreeding, but I think that one's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that one done. Okay. Back to my son. Let's just have a look here. Oh, anything in here for us to do? They can marry. Ah, well. We've already got that sorted, haven't we? Okay, next child's in like a year and a half. It's fine. Go on, we're now in April. Slowly moving our way along. They're about to go through Finland. Very weird they hold this little bit of land there, but that's fine. Okay, there's April. Summon the physician. We have Garthriki Pox. Radical action. Of course I'll do radical action. And... Was it good? Yes. Okay. Still not here. They've got a few apocalyptic and a couple of major. It does seem like there are more and more uh, big plagues happening. None of which are the Black Death, but you know. It's getting there. It's definitely getting there. Okay, he's about to arrive home. It's almost time for him to marry again. Okay. It's getting there. One step at a time. Just need to wait for the auto save. I still haven't done the thing I was going to do with uh, changing the save location or any of that. I haven't tested any of that, but that's fine. Right. Son has learned Arabic. The second he arrives home, he, he learns Arabic. Grimir, sure, you can be a witch. That's fine. You want to marry? Nope. Why is it? Why is it not an option anymore? Uh, interaction is no longer valid to send. Uh, don't know. Is it just broken? Okay, I'm going to do something here. I am going to break betrothal. We make everyone very unhappy. I'm then going to marry you to that person. And it's going to just be a normal marriage. Oh, you're now king of Yemen again? Oh, okay. Yeah. You're just gonna marry now. Yeah. Cool. That's that sorted. We, we took a minor hit, but I think it was probably for the best. Okay. My level of fame dropped. No! Okay, it doesn't really matter. Right. We fixed it. We fixed it slightly. Level of fame will go up uh, super quickly. Yeah, yeah. Probably a couple of battles and we'll be done. Uh, I can try and be friends with this guy? Sure. Um, he likes us better. He doesn't want to be friends with us, but he likes us better. You want to be my vassal? Just, like, hypothetically. No, you're actually a little further away than you were before. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, well... Maybe I will just learn your language instead. I can't learn your language because you're t not 10 years old. Okay, I understand. Maybe I'll just learn your language instead. Okay. That's fine. Just keep learning languages. August. Uh, oh, thank you for the large sum of money. Anything else to build? We do. Let's build some windmills. Also, I think we can build some windmills. I think we could build some windmills. Okay. Definitely upgrade the hunting grounds. And the forest forts as well. It's fine. Pushkin, we're done. Done. Here we can upgrade the hospices. That seems good to me. We're a little bit out of money, but we will gain it back in the war, which is in three months. 
Daybring ruler lost war. They lost an independence war. Wait. So you lost an independence war to this guy. But does that mean... Uh, of course it does. I can vassalize some people. That's the way it works. Okay. So I can gain child sledge for 10 years or I should offer my own uh, recitation. Sure, why not? Uh, are you going to be my vassal? You're at war, I see. Oh, we got one. You want to be my vassal? No. Because we're distant. Oh, I see. What, what about now? How do you feel about our distance? Ah, oh, you feel it's not really that bad? Okay, cool. And... A compassionate, lazy, or gluttonous. You can be compassionate, that's fine. <laughs> Out of those three, I'll take compassionate. Okay, you? Oh, you're a yes, you just need to wait a second. There we go, now we can integrate you. Okay, wonderful. So we're just <laughs> slowly eating that side of them. How about this guy? He's at war. So you're both at war, so that's why I can't integrate either of you. Okay, how about you? Also at war. Also doesn't want to. But I'll send you a gift just to be like, hey, hey, here you go. Right, how long till the crusade? Crusade's in 53 days. That seems like roughly the time I should be raising troops. Um, You know what I might do? Let's first of all rally point here and raise all of our men at arms. I'm now going to create a new rally point here. I'm going to go for uh, raise all. I didn't realize it tells you how long it's going to take to raise, but that, that is useful. Okay, so I'm trying to avoid taking um, unnecessary attrition here by letting them just raise in a normal pattern. Oh, you've converted the culture in uh, Fogia. Fantastic. So that is this one, which has 50 development. Again, pushing up the average development of our holdings. What are you working on now? Military buildings. Yeah, that seems like a sensible thing to do. Right. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, we probably want you to convert land. I might get you to convert this guy's land when we get there. As in, convert um, this one, Constantinople. So if I'm going to get you to convert Constantinople, also development dropping in Constantinople. But if I'm going to get you to do that, then uh, I probably want to wait a little bit on you doing anything else. So why don't you just earn like a huge amount of money for me in the meantime. Talking about uh, money and spending it, I can't increase quality yet. Nope, but I still have four years left. Okay, go. Cool. How long have we got? 20 days? Okay. You'd like me to take this person as a concubine? That'll be a no from me. Yeah. Not interested in that. Some buildings are finishing, though. That's nice. Ask aborted. Convert the faith. That means it's already been converted. Lovely. Let's not put you in the disease. Let's put you somewhere else. How about I put you over here? That seems fine. Okay. Cool. Back over this way. Crusade for Jerusalem. Learn language. Uh, guards, rid me of this blast, uh, blasted book. I can get lauded loud reader. You dare laugh at me, flog them, or erotic novel con connoisseur. I'll be an erotic novel connoisseur. There we go. Right. Holy orders are being hired. I believe our holy order was just hired as well. Okay. Continuing to raise our troops. Continuing to wait for them to send somebody over here. This is fine. We could always go and attack... Um, like we could always go over here and just attack uh, the papacy, but this doesn't seem like something we need to worry about right now. Okay. Still uh, gathering up. Are we in charge of this army? We are. Perfect. Just waiting for them to, you know, send some troops over. That's fine. Guess you can go to the next, uh, yeah, you can head over here. The, you won't actually take attrition here or lose, or lose supplies here. 
Mm -hmm. And then we chill. Nothing we need to worry about. That seems fine. Upgrade my legend? Of course I'll upgrade my legend. I have nothing else to spend money on. Seems great. Would they like to send some troops over here or are we just chilling? There's some troops. Okay. Do I want High Chieftain Temur to be my best friend and get encouragement? Yeah, you can be my best friend. That's fine. Do you want to be my vassal, Temur? I mean, I know that we're not like anywhere near each other. Also, your land is completely falling apart, but do you want to be my vassal? Also, where are you? Wait, are you already my vassal? Was I learning? Alright, go back in here. Relationships, friends. Temur of, of Ogrash. Oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah. Minus six. He still doesn't want to be my vassal. We're very close, though. He is my best friend. That's plus 20. If we could to if we could romance him, we would get that. We could do. I'm gonna continue learning his language though. Yeah. Although I I get wait, am I learning he, he became my best friend? Was that not part of the learning language thing? Uh or do you speak the same language? Uh Tangut and you speak. No, so it's different languages, so I don't know why we had that event. I probably should have read it a little bit more, but I'm kind of busy. To be honest, I'm a little busy with uh, this. Mm. Although, if they could send some like troops over to the war goal, that would be uh, really cool. Wollen under siege. What is Wollen? Oh, it's not really under siege. You're just walking through it. Probably stopped for half a second. I've lost my royal architect. Not the biggest problem in the world, given we, that we are not actively going to build anything for a second. Are they going to send anybody over here, or just, like, chill? Chilling is fine, if that's what you want to do. You could send some troops to the war, you know, that would be cool. Right. They're getting on boats slowly. Okay. You can vassalize Ogrash. Oh, perfect. Welcome to the team, Ogrash. Just expanding while in the crusade. Peacefully. Nice. Now, Ogrash, you are de jure part of Mongolia. So, I am going to grant you to Mongolia. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Right. Back over here. Where are your troops? I mean, I can see that they're here, but, like, what are they doing? Are they heading over to me, or are they just, like, chilling? Uh, in terms of this one... What do we do? We already got to the end of Private Army. Oh, yeah, now we're in just, like, a weird, weird situation where we don't know what we're doing again. Hmm. I mean, general opinion plus max sway schemes is quite nice, I suppose. Uh. Yeah, maybe. We could also go down here. Increase um, our learning power and the amount that we can learn. And it gives you cultural acceptance when you do it. Hmm. Cultural fascination progress. Gives you a new court position. Celebrate other cultures, I remember being really good. Yeah, let's maybe do that. Get some language scholars stuff going on. And we can get adaptive traditions so we can learn another language if we want to. Okay, do we pivot? I don't think embassies is worth it. Let's go down here. Let's grab ourselves. Uh, just thinking. In terms of multiples of six, if we go to the main focus, we can hold an extra piece of land. Yeah, okay. That now means that we're 10 of 11, which now means that if we go to Novgorod and pick whichever one of these we don't hold, we hold all of them. Osil, pick whichever one of these we don't hold, we hold all of them. Um, go to Perm, to whichever one of these we don't Oh, we already hold all of the relevant ones. Okay. We need more land. Maybe Constantinople is that bit of land, but... Uh, We'll hold off for now. 
They're getting on the boats really slowly. Okay, I love that we can just see them, see them there. So it's like, okay, we'll just wait. Now they are heading over to us, which is good. I'm kind of assuming they're going to land in Jaffa here. Just makes the most sense. My dog ran away. I will say, wait for me. And has the dog come back? I uh, don't think so. No. Okay, you need a genius to educate you. So go genius. Uh, you want to do a martial education? It's going to be my daughter. Wonderful. I can't send you to university because I do not have the money any longer. Um, Duke Temer found my dog. Wonderful. So they are landing where? Jaffa? They are landing uh, in Gaza. Okay. Let's merge here. New Cadet Branch. My friend died and I'm overwhelmed with stress. That isn't good. Do I have anything that would lower my stress? Let me just quickly remove ourselves. Oh, cancel. Uh, remove ourselves from the army for two seconds. Yes, I'm going to pet my dog. I'm going to talk to my confidant. And I'm going to go back and charge the army. Wonderful. I just wanted to make it so that we were, um, yeah, a little less stressed. Let's go. Rima has come of age. She is a brilliant strategist and a forder. She will gain shield maiden, and then she will no doubt be a champion. Uh, and then we'll figure out who we're going to marry her to. Okay, we've got favor hook on somebody. Soulmate resol resolves courtier death. Uh, debt. Oh, okay. That's fine. Merge the army. That's an unforeseen tragedy. The spouse of Freyr Saba was killed during a siege. Uh, as was Safna. Who's Safna? Okay. Wait, who's Saba? This wasn't... This wasn't your spouse? This is your spouse. She's alive. You don't have multiple spouses, do you? No. Okay. What a weird event. Like, his spouse died, and I'm like, no, she didn't. She's perfectly alive. That's just some random person. Alright. Well, I attacked their army. Yeah, that seems to go well for them. I've learned a new language. I'm going to send a letter to this person. Closer to getting a friendship with them. Okay. Awesome. Uh, continue with this. So first one, uh, we wiped out nearly all of them. That was good. Second one, we technically weren't a leader, apparently, somehow. Okay. Okay, so our contribution is, in this war... Uh, it doesn't matter, because this is a defensive crusade, and your contribution literally doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Uh, how many troops do they have left? They have a little less than us, but they must be sending them over at some point. Ah, there they are. So I guess we'll just wait for them. Okay, sure. We can do that. Let's maybe just go hide out of sight again. Seems good to me. Just pretend that we're over here and they can't see us. Right, anything else? Enter seclusion. Does that mean that it's near us? Probably not. No, it's actually directly on top of uh, the place we're going to attack next. That's fine. Gastille returns. I don't know who this guy is, so I'm not really that impressed at him returning. Okay, where are these guys going? They appear to be going down here so that they can turn around. I see. That does not seem important to me. That they go down here and turn around. I understand what they're doing. They're trying to merge with armies. Basically, the whole problem here is that there was an ar it would be like there was an army here. These guys would go, oh, I need to merge with the main army. Main army's since left, and they're still trying to merge on the original position. They get here, and they're like, oh, the main army's now over here. And then they move over. It's just very stupid. Anyway. It's fine. What have we got in here? Oh, no event. That's fine. Sun learned Arabic. Okay. Probably important, given uh, how much of the world speaks it currently. Right. 
Ah, I see you're about to land some troops. Are you about to land in, uh... Ooh. Oh, you've changed it up. You're landing in Accra. Okay. Let's head over here. And... Oh, they're running away, but unfortunately you don't have time to run away, and now you're in the, uh, death machine, basically. Sorry. Oh, now I'm defending on this one, or oh, they actually oh no, they went to the next one, but that's fine. Some of them went to this one. We'll continue to get those guys. Wonderful. Continue just absolutely crushing them. They do not stand a chance. We have 200,000 troops against seven. It's just not fair. They're absolutely destroyed, like, not even close. Their, their number of troops that they actually have is dwindling by the second. They're down to 70,000, which means 100,000 are dead. Dead. Um, Grand Otto's been born. Offer concubine? Uh, no. Have I made any money off of any of these? No money? Shocking. By the way, there was a patch to this game. What was in the patch? I don't know. But it was just a patch. Um... Yeah, I couldn't see any patch notes. There might be some now, but when they, it happened yesterday, I didn't see any. So, maybe some things have changed, but uh, what they are? No clue. No clue. Range betrothal between uh, Freyr and my daughter. Uh, gets an alliance with Banu uh, Danis. Here's the thing, Banu, I don't want an alliance with you. I want your land eventually. No longer we're overwhelmed by stress, though. That's nice. Okay, how many troops do they have left? Uh, 62,000. So they lost 120,000. Uh, I think we'll just uh, enforce demands here, get a huge amount of prestige and piety. Broken Cross. We have absolutely 100% destroyed them and gotten no prestige, despite it telling us we would get prestige. Okay, that's fair. Maybe we weren't a participant. Maybe we were the main person. So therefore, it, it wasn't telling us about that. And demand that you convert? Okay, cool. Move that person from the list. Uh, there we go, they've converted. You want to be my vassal? Yeah, okay. Anyone else? Uh, no, you want to be my vassal? You're in a war, I see. Okay, well, cool. We'll, we'll eat that vassal. Get rid of those. How's this looking? It's spreading. How, how uh, like, um, how close are we? Three years. Well, that must mean that our truce with you is pretty much done, right? Our truce with you is done. Fantastic. So we can attack them next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.